What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Savage Land, and welcome to another episode of The Field. And man, I had to squeeze this episode in because I um never did a review of Storm Shadow on my channel, and I just got this uh retro Storm Shadow from Nerd Zoic. For the lookout on that, uh, paid like twenty seven ninety nine for just a couple of bucks over retail price, but it's better than trying to sit up and search. Uh, for this in Walmart as you can see the car back is still bent. This is the one I'm opening up He uh, there's another one that's a little bit better than that that I got men on card that I'll be putting in the stash, but shout out to him I'd rather pay a couple extra bucks to keep me from the heartache of uh, Will I ever get this because at first I didn't give a shit if I did get it or not But now I got about half of them. I need retro snake eyes and the other ones like uh, Baroness and Lady J I can get with ease and I think I'll be complete on these retro card backs. But I want to do an episode double impact uh, just kind of comparing the two which they're both virtually the same. There's a few more different paint applications on this retro one which we'll go over but all in all still a cool figure. Like I said I'm going to take the retro and put it with my blue army and this one you see to the right here with the hood that'll be part of my red army man. So I usually don't do show off the cards um when i do a review uh on a figure but hey it's always a first time or second or third time for everything but let's jump right into it all right so now we have both storm shadows out of the package here and i got them lined up pretty much on the way i want them to go uh, more than likely at first i thought i wanted the retro to be with the blue army but i think i'm gonna have the first one I original got the actual Archer Storm Shadow with the blue army and then of course more towards the red side you see the original one. Um, I messed around with this for a couple of hours. I've already had the original one for probably a couple of years now or maybe over a year. I think he came out about a year and a half ago. But I had him ever since he dropped so I know how he moves. This thing is the exact same Storm Shadow like you heard from everybody else with just a few differences. Of course one comes with the hood up over and the other comes with the hood down now, i believe the original has a hood down piece also but this retro carded one doesn't have that option of course he has the same crossbow set up not crossbow same uh bow system set up and quiver with the arrows um on the first one that came out the hood of course the arrows are red on the retro one the arrows are white i actually like the white arrows it makes it it makes it pop out of the quiver more and of course as you can see um in his hand that he has the loose arrow that you can place in the quiver and of course the other one has the red and one has the white now as far as what difference i noticed out the gate they have kind of different skin complexions. The uh, retro Storm Shadow has more like an olive skin color where the uh, other one is a little bit more lighter. I would say he has a more reddish skin tone. Not really reddish, but he's definitely lighter than this retro car one. The other one, the retro car one is a little bit more darker, has an olive um, ordeal going on. Now to me, it looks like the white on the geese are the same and the red cobra insignia on the left chest part are the same has the same torn sleeves but his wraps on his arm are of course different being one has archer gloves on um and the other one has like wraps around the wrist actually covering up his arashikagi i thought this one actually came with the arashikagi you can actually see it on the uh on the retro storm shadow the car back storm shadow but you don't and that that c color kind of reminds me of the movie storm shadow it's like an off-white a um, little bit darker than eggshell and at the bottom down there on the uh, calf and ankles the uh, wraps are different also the original one with the hood has more of a grayish wrap with the other one have more of an off-white now one thing I also did notice too that the hooded storm shadow has kind of like uh, soles looks like it on his little uh, ninja shoes where the other one just has just white like he just has a straight white uh, suit on and there's no like rubber soles or anything feet protection up under there now uh, far as hand play they uh, They're similar but different. I thought like okay if somebody doesn't want to display two storm shadows You can have an ultimate storm shadow of course the skin colors off But you can take the uh, hands and peg it into the wrist you actually can't uh, actually on the original storm shadow his uh his pegs that goes into his uh wrist are a little bit bigger now you can dremel out the uh the old uh the what well, i want to say older storm shadow but retro storm shadow and make it work but i necessarily don't want to do that i'm fine with just 
having both of them if i did want to use one just bring them in and out for one thing the color tones aren't going to match but you can get by that with a few camera tricks um also uh on their quivers not quiver also on their bow it's actually a little bit soft on this retro car one i, I actually have uh took out the other bow from the uh the hooded storm shadow and that one was soft too but this one actually seems a little bit softer I, I i don't know but they're both soft period and they don't stay on worth the crap i didn't know that the original storm shadow had like his uh bow fell off as much as like that i'm talking about if you touch it it's falling off so usually i display them without and usually i display them without his uh without his quiver or bow i just like a, i like a free storm shadow he, he never carried that around all the time he's most like a free ninja he did have those swords though and that was is the most important weapon to me with him are those swords which the uh the quiver and the arrows are not bad either they, they have a little bit of softness to it but i can understand that but the uh quiver that's very hard usually with accessories like that uh the plastic on gi joe is going to be a little bit harder and the swords are a one the swords almost seem almost seem exactly the same maybe i'm wrong but they both got black handles almost kind of like a silver paint doesn't look like the paint is upgraded on either one but look, 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 look like that's pretty much across the board the same thing now uh the the original storm shadow with the hood that you got first uh he's more set up to shoot uh bows he has archer gloves and hit one of his hands is fixated to hold an arrow which it holds the arrow uh, on photography a little bit better than this retro storm shadow with his hood down now the retro storm shadow actually comes with a fist and a ninja star throwing hand that actually comes with snake eyes a lot to be quite honest with you i don't care too much for that ninja star hand i, I actually would actually like loose ninja stars which those kind of suck too because you always lose them but i would say i would like a fist another fist other than that ninja star hand give me two fists and i can work out ninja stars with trigger shooting hands you know and then that's just my whole perspective of it now with the uh the, with the storm shadow with the archer gloves he only has those two sets of hands but like i said one of those hands is set up to strictly hold an arrow like he's going to shoot it and then the other hand is more like a trigger hand but they are basically one in the same um these figures are cool you can do if you want to set up one with your blue army um i think that'll look good if you want to set up one with your red army because he's white he's a white ninja he's going to fit in anywhere and storm shadow is badass he's going to look cool regardless but if you were trying to chase this down um for me I, I never planned on chasing this down to be honest with you it just kind of fell into my lap last week with big nerdy i said you know what let me go ahead and try to get these retro cars too because i think the only one i'm kind of chasing now is snake eyes i just ordered the crimson guards uh from big nerdy uh last night they might still be up and available he also had big ben uh in there too so i'm definitely gonna deal with him to try to hit some of these loose gaps i think i'm gonna try to look for him to try to grab that range viper because big nerdy be coming through with it um he does have stuff and you can you could you could use a firm with him and pay it off in uh what's it uh eight weeks so uh payment every two weeks man but to get back on the subject man this storm shadow is just like the other one if you're uh if you're over the top like me go ahead and grab him can't hurt nothing um i would say one thing with big nerdy he's gonna try to mail it to you and not mess up that card back because i did buy uh with the crimson guard and storm shadow one minute on card and it's good enough to save i need to probably put a protector on it because the, of course we all know the cards are crappy anyway but there we have it man uh storm shadow stella figure and also man any ninja that gets put on this body is a1 good to go if it ain't broke don't fix it uh just like nunchuck i didn't know he was on the storm shadow body and uh that really intrigues me more about him i actually have a men on card of him but i need to get a loose nunchuck and can't wait to break that out because he's on that storm shadow body uh kamukara on that storm shadow body which is another great figure and just a solid solid buck that in my eyes they really don't have to do too much uh to it um of course it, things could always be better but it's a one good to go and just like this storm shadow both of them the retro card uh, storm shadow and the original with the hood both a one figures man so i never got a chance to open up storm shadow and i finally did man and of course like i said he's stellar but this is the savage land we do this for the love and beauty of action figures if you can give me a like comment subscribe if you want to hit me on my instagram at geppetto910 and with that being said until the next time god bless